Cameroon, can you guys believe that the president, I mean, uh, the dictator, yeah, the dictator Paul Bia, is still blocking the internet in southern Cameroon? Since January 18th, that's more than a month already. You can't use the internet for work, you can't read the news online, and you can't get on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, or even WhatsApp. People cannot watch my show. Can you imagine? And they cannot watch Dr. Damages. All because the man doesn't want us to know about the arbitrary arrest that is going on in southern Cameroon. I've heard that they are still arresting people anyhow from the English-speaking part of Cameroon and they are driving them to the French-speaking part of Cameroon to jail them. So he doesn't want us to know about what is going on and he doesn't want people uploading pictures or videos of what is going on. And keep in mind that not having internet has actually affected the economy of the country. Businesses in Cameroon have lost over one 1.3 million dollars because he shut down the internet several businesses depend on the internet you know like internet cafes like media houses like banks they are not able to function people are not able to collect western union money you know when their family members send money to them from abroad they can't collect it because there is no internet for how long will Paul Bia treat his own people as if they are nothing and then when would the French speaking part of Cameroon join the protest as I've been saying if you don't say anything right now don't think that anybody would stand up for you when he starts oppressing you as well but despite the unrest i'm so excited that the very first african winner of the google annual coding competition for students between the ages of 13 and 17 worldwide is from southern cameroon can you imagine ladies and gentlemen please meet 17 year old unji collins the day after this guy submitted his entry was when the internet was shut down i was like this guy is really really fortunate i'm so happy that he was able to put in his entry by the way more than 1300 teenagers from 62 countries enter this competition and only 34 teenagers were selected as grand prize winners and he is one of them hello i am so proud of him we are all so proud of him so he will be traveling to google's headquarters in california silicon valley and that's in san francisco so we're very excited for him i mean how exciting that's very exciting right now the guy has moved to yaoundé that is the capital of cameroon he had to travel seven hours by road so that he can have access to internet remember there's no more internet in southern cameroon so he's now staying in yaoundé just so that he can stay in touch with google whenever they send him an email or information about his trip in june and then he said that till now no one in the Cameroonian government has acknowledged him for what he accomplished but we acknowledge him on this show you know we're very proud of you thank you so much for making us proud and he said that he's the first african teenager to win this so we are very happy for him you guys don't know much guess what i'm just keeping it real <laughs>